Hi, welcome back to Recap Rhapsody. Today, I will bring you a drama movie about the underground world of high-stakes poker, Rounders, released in 1998. The protagonist, a young reformed gambler, Mike McDermott, must return to playing high-stakes poker to help a friend, paying off his loan shocks while balancing his relationship with his girlfriend and his commitments to law school. If you want to watch the full movie, it's totally free on Pluto TV. Warning, spoiler, please consider before viewing. New York City law student and gifted poker player, Mike McDermott dreams of winning the World Series of Poker. At an underground Texas Hold'em game run by Russian mobster Teddy KGB, an overconfident Mike loses his entire $30,000 bankroll in a single hand. Shaken, he promises his girlfriend and fellow student Joe that he has quit poker and concentrates on law school. His mentor, Joey Kanish, offers to stake him to rebuild his bankroll, but Mike declines and instead accepts a part-time job to make ends meet. Several months pass and Mike stays true to his promise until his childhood friend, Lester Worm Murphy, is released from prison. While Mike is an honest player, Worm is a hustler and unapologetic cheat. To help Worm pay off a debt, Mike sets him up with games across town and reluctantly sits in on a game, interfering with his studies and his relationship with Joe. Mike allows Worm to play on his credit at the Chesterfield Club. After being loaned $2,000, Worm gets up to $10,000 and cashes out for the full amount which starts a tab in Mike's name. Worm runs into Grama, a dangerous bin, who reveals that he has bought Worm's debt. Worm now owes $25,000 directly to Grama, who is working for KGB. Grama takes Worm's $10,000, which he left the Chesterfield with, threatening him to pay the rest. As Mike returns to his poker lifestyle and friends, Joe ends their relationship. Mike learns from Petra at the Chesterfield that Worm has now racked up a $7,000 debt in Mike's name. In Atlantic City, Worm tells Mike about his debt to Grama, but withholds that he is working for KGB. Mike proposes to Grama that Worm pay weekly installments. Grama considers the offer, but also mocks Worm for his inability to pay him. Worm responds by insulting Grama, and as the two nearly come to blows, Mike defuses the situation by agreeing to vouch for Worm, and an angry Grama gives them five days to pay the remaining $15,000. Mike decides to help Worm win the money by playing in several games in and around the city. On a winning streak, Mike earns $7,200 in three days, but still needs to double it in 48 hours. Worm directs Mike to Binghamton for a game hosted by New York State Troopers, where he comes close to winning the $7,800 needed before Worm unexpectedly joins the game. Soon after, a trooper catches Worm base dealing to help Mike. They are beaten up and relieved of their entire bankroll. Worm finally confesses that Grama is working for KGB. With their lives in danger, Worm decides to flee, but Mike returns to the city, cutting ties with Worm. Mike asks Grama for more time, to no avail. He asks Kanish for the money, but is refused out of principle. During the conversation with Kanish, Mike reveals his motivation for taking the ill-fated risk 
Atkins Club, citing beating poker legend Johnny Chan at a single hand in Atlantic City, and why he thinks he can compete and possibly win the World Series of Poker. Kanish stays firm, desperate, Mike asks his law school professor, Petrovsky, who loans him $10,000. Mike challenges KGB to a second heads-up no limit, Texas Hold'em game for the remaining debt with winner-take-all stakes, which KGB accepts. Mike beats KGB in the first session, winning $20,000. KGB offers to let Mike's winnings ride and continue the game, but Mike, with enough to pay off most of his debts, declines. As he is about to leave, KGB taunts Mike that he is paying him with the money that he lost to KGB from their previous game. Mike changes his mind and decides to continue playing. Mike doubles the blinds at the risk of losing everything to KGB again and possibly his life. As the night wears on, he spots Kstel and folds, deducing that KGB has a better hand. I rate at the missed chance to bust Mike. KGB begins to play on tilt. In the final hand, Mike baits a boastful KGB into going all in and defeats him with a nut straight. KGB throws a tantrum at having been lured into a mistake. Despite Brahma's urging, KGB, rattled, calls off his goons and admits that Mike won fairly, allowing him to leave with his winnings. With over $60,000, Mike settles Worm's $15,000 debt to Grama. The Chestier fields $6,000 credit, Petrovsky's $10,000 loan, and restores his original bankroll of three stacks of high society. He drops out of law school, says goodbye to Joe, and leaves New York for Las Vegas to play in the World Series of Poker. Video is ending here. Thanks for watching.